Hugging the eastern edge of the Chula Vista Elite Athlete Training Center, Otai Lake marks a recreational boundary between suburbia and the undeveloped hills beyond. But for 21-year-old Nevin Harrison, this reservoir is a daily training ground, marking the line between good and great. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. You got your hands full. Breakfast and more breakfast <laughs> yeah. and all that. <laughs> We're here for a behind the scenes glimpse at a paddling yeah, yeah, phenom. Yeah. All eyes on her when it comes to being the American favorite in a sport few people really understand. For me, whenever I think canoeing, I think a lot of times the connotation is a big fat brown boat. I remember when I first heard of it and I heard canoeing, racing canoeing. I was like, that's so dumb. Like. Turns out a childhood summer camp near her hometown of Seattle changed her opinion and soon her life. She loved it and was good. At 15 years old, she left high school to homeschool and train full time. Now a student at San Diego State University, her studies are once again on hold as she trains full time for Paris. She makes it look easy, but it's a daily ergonomic beating. Unlike kayaking or rowing, canoers kneel and paddle on just one side of the boat. It's called a J-stroke, which is kind of hard to wrap your head around sometimes, but when you exit the water, you twist your bottom wrist, causing the paddle to twist, meaning it kind of like draws the water in and keeps your boat going straight. I'm wondering how long I could even stay afloat. I'd probably give you 10 seconds. I'd give you like five grand. <laughs> it's that hard? It's that hard. Yeah, a little bit up, Nav. Just a little bit. On most days, it's just Harrison and her coach out here on the water. He followed her to San Diego to build on her generational so that's, talent. That's the challenge right now, to have, have her to motivate by the everyday works. Because when, when the race comes, she's 150%. I, it's really rare to see somebody can do her best on the race day. Nevin Harrison of the United States in lane four. And great start by La Pointe and also Harrison, 200 meters from history right now. Women's canoe made its Olympic debut in Tokyo. In the singles finals, Harrison shot out to an early lead and didn't look back. 19-year-old Nevin Harrison from the United States on her way to the finish line. No one will be able to catch her. And the first ever Olympic gold medal in women's canoeing goes to Nevin Harrison in the United States. A dominating victory, delivering gold medal history to Team USA and women around the world. And men have been in the Olympics for ages in this sport, so being that first female gold medalist was so huge, especially coming from the United States, where we don't have a lot of representation in this sport. My phone was freezing because I was having so much activity on my social media accounts. I couldn't even open Instagram because no there was so much going on. Yeah, so I was trying to call people, but I was getting like 50 phone calls every minute. When she's at the top of her game, is there anyone in the world that can beat her? I don't think so. I'm, I, that, that's why I'm here. Here in the middle of a lake, where every paddle brings the Paris finish line a little closer to reality.